I can't believe they did that. They don't want us talking about parallel worlds. If you're watching this video right now, um, I had started a video, a live video on here, and um, I had sound before I came on here. I made sure I had it. As soon as I hit start on this YouTube channel, on the live stream, they cut my sound out completely. And um, I think there was a reason for it. So if you're just watching this, um, hello and um, welcome. Not only did I have to restart my computer, uh, all the pages that I had open that I was going to refer to, boom, all of them are gone. So that's not going to stop me. If you're just tuning in, I do believe that there are parallel worlds and there are those who slide in and out of these parallel worlds, these people who time travel. Uh, I believe that there are other dimensions. Uh, I believe there's so much more to this world than what meets the eye. And I do believe that certain information is not meant to get out, even though they are free to talk about it. Certain people aren't allowed to talk about it. That's what I feel is happening. I'm going to come over here. Oh, okay, I see that we're on here, you all. Can you hear me now? Because um, that's... I'm blurry? How on earth can I be a little bit blurry? How is that possible, you all? Um, how is that possible? I'm blurry? I want you all to look at my screen. Look at that. I have an excellent connection. Um, there should be no reason why I am blurry. Well, um... Edith Arias, if you see me okay, then I am okay, you all. All right. Bang, bang, mucka, bang, thank you. Let me put this back to me, you all. I've got to go find all the areas that I had bookmarked back open. Uh, and it's it's good. I'm glad it's perfect. I'm going to go to the history. Um, mm, I don't like it, but that's okay. Because they didn't want me to talk about it. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to open up these um, areas that I had already opened up. Whoo! I'm going to see if I can get them all opened up. You all just wait with me because I had to literally, I had to close everything up is what I had to do. Okay. So, um... Mm. Oh, I don't give up. I'm I'm stubborn and I am bullheaded. Okay, if 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 you didn't know, I'm stubborn and I'm bullheaded and I don't give up so easily. I don't. Uh, when I fall down, I pick myself back up. It doesn't matter how many times I fall down, I'm going to get back up. Uh, will it wear me out and frustrate me in the process? Probably, but I'm still going to get back up. I will. I will get back up. You are. Um, you don't get anywhere in life when you stay down. Okay, let's look at this. So, um, do parallel universes exist? Um, so we're looking at this article. Look at this. It's just written on November the 3rd of 2021. Can you all see that? So let's look at this. Mm, I think my screen feels a little, let me get my feather duster. You, I'm going to get, I'm going to take my feather duster. I'm going to wipe off that screen, uh, so I can clean it. I don't want to touch my screen if, if there's any, like, dust or something on it. Okay. I've got it, you all. I, I, I wiped my screen off with my feather duster. So, look at this. Sci-fi parallel universes. But could we really be in one? Well, that's a really interesting uh, question to pose. It really is, you all. You know, they want to they wanna ask if we could really be in a... a um, a parallel universe I think um, I think it's quite possible because you know I'm sure you all have had the experience just like I uh, where you have seen somebody in one spot and then you go somewhere else and you see them again you think oh, I just saw them over there see when I was coming home from work one day um, 
I could have swore up and down I passed our vehicle. My husband was driving his vehicle going the opposite direction in his vehicle. And I think, well, what is he doing in his vehicle? He's supposed to be at work. But I was coming home. And then um, I got home. Um, and his, his vehicle was in the driveway, you all. It was completely in the driveway. His vehicle was in the driveway. He works from home. But I'm thinking... This is this is weird. And, you know, I've heard other accounts of people saying, you know, that somebody saw them somewhere before. Uh, and they're thinking, well, I wasn't there. And these people swear up and down that they've seen them. Hello, everybody. You all, if you if you can relate to a parallel universe, if you can relate to seeing something or someone in one spot and then also in another spot, and it's literally... Um, scientifically impossible, really, because you can't explain it. You really can't. I'm sure you all have. So we have these parallel universes. Listen to this. Parallel universes are no longer just a feature of a good sci-fi story. Now, see, they're telling us, see, look, this parallel universes. Of course, I don't want to be that bubble. I don't. Um, there are now some, look at this. There, it's supposed to be there is now some scientific theories or there well you can say there there are some scientific theories that support the idea of a parallel universe beyond our own however the multiverse theory remains one of the most controversial theories in science well now that i know that uh, the multiverse and then the parallel universe uh, I don't know if they're one and the same, but y'all, we're going to find out about this. Because uh, it's, uh, so this multiverse theory is one of the most controversial theories in science. So that's quite interesting. And thank you all for being here. So look at this. Our, let me bring this back down, you all. Our universe is unimaginably big. Hundreds of billions, if not trillions of galaxies spin through space, each containing billions or trillions of stars. Um, billions or trillions of stars. Well, that's quite a bit, you all. It's a, that's a lot. Billions or trillions of stars. So, um, some researchers studying models of the universe speculate that the universe's diameter could be 7 billion light years across. Others think it could be infinite, which has no end. Infinite means there is no end. So could it be that there is no beginning and there is no end? Um, that's really interesting. It is, you all. Come on now. We can, we can do this. We're going to do it. But is it all that's out there? Science fiction loves the idea of a parallel universe. And, though, and the thought that we might be living... Just one of an infinite number of possible lives. Oh, you see, now look at that. That we might be living just one of an infinite number of possible lives. Well, that's very expansive of this life that I'm living. If um, I could be living an infinite number of possible lives, do they mean at the same time? Do they mean that we could possibly be possibly let me get this back here that we could possibly be living uh, a multiple life uh, at the same time as this life if that's so are we aware that we of like am I aware of myself right now in a parallel world am I also aware like I'm aware now am I talking about myself Right now, in a parallel world, as if I am in, in that parallel world, am I questioning my existence in that parallel world? Are you all questioning your existence in that parallel world? I'd like to know. But then what if we did meet ourselves and we saw some things we did and we didn't like what we saw? Or we may like what we see and think, well, why not got this in this world? You know, that's a really good question. Why, why would our life be significantly different in that parallel world? Could it be that it's another classroom that we're in? Could it be? Could it be that this is one classroom and then the other world is another classroom and another classroom and another classroom and it just goes on infinite. And there's many versions of ourselves and probably... Uh, I hope it's not many different personalities, you all. That'd be that'd be kind of schizophrenic.
<laughs> it would. But then you really never know. You don't know. You don't know. And that's the that's the interesting part. So multi let's get this going. Multiverses aren't reserved for Star Trek, Spider Man, and Doctor Who. Real scientific theory explores and in some cases supports the case for universes outside, parallel to or distance from, but mirroring our own. So we could have we could have a um, universe that mirrors our own. We could have um, so you could be on this world or you could be on this world or you can be on this world you could be on all these three worlds at one time could you imagine that if there was a you over here and one over here or or maybe you lived in a different place in that world maybe you didn't live in the same place that you live in you know there's all kinds of theories out there there are all kinds of theories you all this is really interesting uh, and could you please give this video a thumbs up? We need to talk about this. We need to see how far this can go, you all. All right, let, let, let me look at this. So, wow. So, parallel worlds ex exist and interact with our world, scientists say. They interact with our world. I got to make sure this went to that screen. It did. It did, you all. Uh, that's right, twinkle, sunlight, or starlight, we travel. Yeah, simultaneously existing. Then that would mean that we are very powerful if we are simultaneously existing. We're just going to call on some more of us to back us up. So <laughs> that would be a, oh my goodness, you all. So look at this, um, quantum mechanics. Look at that, quantum we ca mechanics, you all. We can look at this. And we won't spend too much time on it because I want to talk about something else too. Quantum mechanics, though firmly tested, is so weird and anti-intuitive that it famed physicist Richard Feynman once remarked, I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. So it's, it's so weird and anti-intuitive. Attempts to explain some of the bizarre consequences of quantum theory have led to some mind-bending ideas such as the Copenhagen interpretation of the many worlds interpretation. Um, you know, I think, um, oh, who was that Grasso guy that he said there was like, we could be in a video game. I wouldn't want to be in a video game and somebody's playing us. Well, that could be. Um, so look at this. Now, there's a new theory on the block called the Many Interacting Worlds Hypothesis, M-I-W. So, the Many Interacting Worlds Hypothesis, M-I-W. And it says the idea is just as profound as it sounds, you all. Just as profound as it sounds. The theory suggests not only that parallel worlds exist... But they interact with our world on the quantum level and are thus detectable. That's a little scary, you all. That's, you know, <laughs> that's a little scary if um, they interact with our world on the quantum level and are detectable. Because, you know, CERN, literally, CERN wanted to find that parallel world and open up a thing to it so we could learn from it you all that's how they they really did they wanted to do it though still speculative the theory may help to finally explain some of the bizarre consequences inherent in quantum mechanics a carrot according to rt.com look at that so this would be a mirrored world digging into this right here oh my gosh what would they call that the many at interacting worlds, many interacting worlds. Well, you know, that could make up that could make sense why our world is turned upside down. That really could. Our world is turned upside down and people are not what they used to be. Perhaps that they uh, interchanged with their parallel self in, in that world and they just changed places. And, you know, that could happen. It really could. Anything's possible. It's just a matter of of which universe you're aware of oh wow well i'm aware of this one you all we are aware of this universe that we live in i'm sure we are 
Um, the theory is a spinoff of the many worlds interpretation in quantum mechanics, an idea that posist. That that's a weird. That's a new word for me. Posits that all possible alternative histories. Oh wow, and futures are real, each representing an actual though parallel world. That's a pretty powerful statement right there, you all. All possible alternative histories and futures are real, each representing an actual though parallel world. That's really profound to say. It really is and really um Yeah. It's really all of that. And, you know, it, it could be possible because, you know, you ever thought um, how like you wish for something and um, you change your attitude and all of that. Your attitude is changed and all of a sudden your world starts turning out better when you have an attitude adjustment. Well, it may not work that well in this world that we live in right now, but it used to, you know, you could um, change your attitude, change the way you view life. And literally, things literally start to turn around. Uh, is that because maybe we went into uh, an alternate history um, through a parallel world? We went into another parallel world, you all that? I know that sounds crazy. It, it sounds far-fetched. Probably not crazy, but far-fetched. But it, it could happen. It really could. So, Sean Carroll, a theoretical physicist at... The California Institute of Technology supports the many worlds theory. It's the subject of his new book, Something Deeply Hidden. Well, we want to see that what that book looks like, Something Deeply Hidden, you all. We really do. We want to see what that book. So why did he write about? See, we, there's things that are hidden that will be made known. So that's we want to see that, Something Deeply Hidden. Yes, we do. So, oh, so here we are on Amazon. So look at that. Something deeply hidden. Quantum worlds. Oh my gosh. Quantum worlds and the emergence of space time. I was going to say space time continuum. Look, it was just written. Wow, you all. Let, let me see what they. Let, let, let's, let's listen, you all. <laughs> let's listen to what they have to say in that book. I want to hear it. Let me, let me turn it up safely apply in certain prescribed situations and which returns mind-bogglingly precise predictions that have been triumphantly vindicated by the data. But if you want to dig deeper and ask what is really going on, we simply don't know. Physicists tend to treat quantum mechanics like a mindless robot they rely on to perform certain tasks, not as a beloved friend they care about on a personal level. This attitude among the professionals seeps into how quantum mechanics gets explained to the wider world. What we would like to do is to present a fully formed picture of nature, but we can't quite do that since physicists don't agree about what quantum mechanics actually says. Instead, popular treatments tend to emphasize that quantum mechanics is mysterious, baffling, impossible to understand. That message goes against the basic principles that science stands for which include the idea that the world is fundamentally intelligible. We have something of a mental block when it comes to quantum mechanics, and we need a bit of quantum therapy to help get past it. When we teach quantum mechanics to students, they are taught a list of rules. Some of the rules are of a familiar type. There's a mathematical description of quantum systems, plus an explanation of how such systems evolve over time. But then there are a bunch of extra rules that have no analog in any other theory of physics. These extra rules tell us what happens when we observe a quantum system. And that behavior is completely different from how the system behaves when we're not observing it. What in the world is going on with that? There are basically two options. One is that the story we've been telling our students is woefully incomplete. And in order for quantum mechanics to qualify as a sensible theory, we need to understand what a measurement or observation is and why it seems so different from what the system does otherwise. The other option 
Is that quite? Okay, I don't know how long he was going to be talking, but that's a little bit of something about quantum um, quantum worlds is what it is. Uh, something deeply hidden, quantum worlds, you all. So that is really interesting. Um, you've seen those experiments? Yeah, I hadn't seen them. But um, it is, let's look inside. Look, see, here's what you can do. What's, what's on these table of contents? What's going on? at the quantum world, the courageous formulation, austere quantum mechanics, how quantum mechanics came to be, uncertainty and complementarity. Wow, so um, look, the decoherence and parallel worlds, where probability comes from. Look, order and randomness, you all. They've done a lot of, so this book is literally, let it probably be over my head. Look, holography, black holes, and the limits of locality. So our world, you know, we were told that um, we know that technology is increasing on an astronomical scale. It is increasing so fast. So much new technology is coming out, you all. So much new technology. And it's literally, it's like hitting us all at once. There's The brakes aren't on. It's just like somebody's got the pedal to the metal. And all of this technology is just like in our face, you all. It's coming so fast. It really is. It's coming so fast. Hello. Thank you for being. Yes, bang, bang, mucka, bang. Don't worry. We got this. Uh, Mystic Rose, you were on here. And you got this. Is O-Rider on here? Um, y King Ahuka Mundo, you all got this. Bang, bang. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Everybody got it. Yes, a new timeline. Yes. Oh my goodness, many worlds all around us and everything even at the end of a ballpoint pen is, is a quantum world. The worlds are everywhere on everything. Look at the granite in your kitchen. Zoom. Angela Way, thank you for that. Hello there, O Rider. Um, it's nice for you to join us. It is. Um, so look at that, you also. It is um, absolutely possible that there are multiple worlds where you made <gasps> whoa look at that oh my gosh you all that just hit me like a ton of bricks did that hit you like a ton of bricks look at this it is absolutely possible that there are multiple worlds where you made different decisions now i i i can reason with i can reason with that i can like mm, mm, i can vibe with that you all i really can i really can that's right. Oh, my goodness. We're just obeying the laws of physics. Um, just how many versions of you might there be? We don't know whether the number of worlds is finite or infinite. But it's certainly a very large number. There's no way it's like five. Okay, so there's no way it's like five worlds. Oh, wow. Yes, that's really interesting. That is so interesting. One problem with the many worlds interpretation, however, has been that it's fundamentally untestable since observations can only be made in our world. Happenings in these proposed parallel worlds can thus only be imagined. Um, but then you have to ask yourself, how do we imagine? How does our mind even go there? If it doesn't exist, how can we even think that it does and visualize, okay? Something's there. There's some type of a connection there. There really is. Um, so the MIW uh, suggests that parallel worlds can interact on the quantum level. And in fact, they do, as this video explains. Well, I'm not going to click into that. So look, the idea of a parallel universe in quantum mechanics has been been around since 1957. 1957 is a long time. Each universe's universe branches into a bunch of new universes every time a quantum measurement is made. Oh, wow. All possibilities are therefore realized. Uh, yeah, yeah, have you ever caught yourself saying, have you ever found yourself saying, well, let me see. If I make this decision then such and such and such will likely happen. But if I make the other decision, then this will probably happen. But then if I, if I don't make either one of those decisions, then maybe nothing will happen. 
But and if you do make a decision, something will happen. But then will that trigger something else to happen? Will it have a domino effect? You know, we've all reasoned that within our minds. We've all second guessed whether we wanted to make the one decision or not make it. And we do it out of fear. We really do. Um, we get fearful of change, especially when it big, big time change in our life. We think, well, if I do this, then I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you really don't, but you got to take that leap of faith at times. You really do, and just barrel right on through. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. I really never knew anything about all of this right here. I just heard the word, the word before a parallel world and um, all of that, you all. Yes, a butterfly effect, something like that. That's really interesting. Oh, my goodness. In some universes, the dinosaur-killing asteroid, oh, wow, it missed Earth. And in others, Australia was colonized by the Portuguese. So how do they know? Now, listen to this. How do they know that the asteroid in one world did not kill off the dinosaurs in, on Earth? Why would they even say that? Okay, you have to ask yourself, why would you even hypothesize about that um, if there was no way to even prove it? That's interesting. So maybe the dinosaurs, dinosaurs never did die off. Maybe they didn't. Um, don't forget, you've heard someone, country boy, mention something about time travel and someone possibly could have messed with the time fluctuation continuum. Yes, they could have. So, um... I don't think there's much more to this right here part right here. So, yeah, some people question the reality of other universes uh, since they do not influence our universe at all. How do you know they don't influence our universe? They could very well influence our universe. They really could. Um, I don't know if I... Would you want to run into yourself in another world? Would you want to walk face to face, stand right there with yourself? Okay, now this is a question. This is a good question to ask you all. Okay, you ever ran into somebody and you feel like you have known them all your life, but it's the very first time you have met them. This is the very first time you've met them, okay? But you feel like you've known them in another world and another time. Why did you say that? In another world and another time. Isn't that interesting? So, what if that's true? What if you did know them in another world, in a parallel world? What if you did? And then you, you recognize them in this parallel world. I think that makes sense. It does. And or, you know, I would, I, I say that our spirits recognize each other. When, when we run into somebody, I used to think, I still do think that when you run into somebody and you feel like you've known them all your life, except you just met them in this lifetime, but you know within your spirit that you've seen them in another lifetime before you came to this earth, before you're living this life, it feels like you've known them all your life. And how is that possible? How is it possible? Um, you're either saw them on the other side in the spiritual realm or you saw them in another parallel world and you're you were connected with them what if you have the same group of friends that travel with you in these parallel worlds what if you do the same groups of people um in the parallel world and some you know stay with you on a positive level what if that happens it could be anything yes um yeah well about death um I don't think when my body here dies, I really, I feel like I know my spirit's going to go on. Because, you know, there's been too many instances of people laying on the hospital bed. They're, they're laying there and all of a sudden they're about to die and they see their spirit. Their spirit is literally hovering over their body on that bed. And they're looking down at their body. They're looking at the nurses and the doctors and stuff. And they're up there and they're thinking, well, there I am down there. But their spirit knows it. See, they're living up there. And their physical bodies down there or the people who said they crossed over and they wherever they went they didn't want to come back but then they were told well you can't come you can't you have to go back it's not your time you have to go back it's there's all this opens up a whole lot of things you all so with people that you feel like you've known all your life you probably met them in another parallel world in another lifetime 
uh, whether it be the parallel world or over on the other side on the spiritual on the spiritual end you well that's really really so if there's many versions of yourself if there's many versions of yourself um, what if they are taking your physical chemical makeup and making all different versions of you all over the place what if there's uh, what if there's like five of me on this earth right now what if there's five of you on this earth right now they say that we all have a double and they look exactly like us they do um, so how's that how's that possible okay how is it you got to ask yourself that too so I'm, I'm getting excited you all this is exciting <laughs> it is really exciting let me let me get over here you all I'm a, look at this so um, these uh, wise men and colleagues have proposed that there exists a universal force of repulsion between nearby similar worlds which tends to make them more dissimilar quantum effects can be explained by factoring in this force that they propose so I would not want to have to do all these mathematical um, things look when asked about whether their theory might entail the possibility that humans could someday interact with other worlds Wiseman said it's not part of our theory but the idea of human interactions with other universes is no longer pure fantasy no longer pure fantasy you are uh, no longer pure fantasy so if CERN wants to uh, open up um, CERN and parallel world we're gonna look at it well you can see it right here our universe so let's see why wait why we got this boy on here well let's see our universe was destroyed by CERN and we live in a parallel universe okay and Sh uh, Shivasta okay the universe is so complex that if someone stopped to take a look at what is really going on um, science has really begun to bite the surface of reality and discoveries of nature are far more shocking than anyone ever imagined look at this there is evidence of free energy unified field of consciousness superhuman ability and alternative reality and more so much is incomprehensible that no one would think a child would have any understanding but here we have a 13 year old boy named Max understands everything and can explain it in an intricate detail um, so so let's see what he said he is the smartest guy in the world at the age of 13 he was behind the invention of free energy device which is the technology that can feed the world for free he has a theory that CERN could have destroyed the universe and we actually live in a parallel universe that was closest to it do you all think that's possible do you think that's possible you know they've saw we've saw movies where like um, they do do something like that they open up this black hole or this black hole sucks everything in and they can't shut it you can't shut it at all so that's really I've never heard of this boy before I haven't um, he says an infinite parallel universe is constantly being created and there is a universe in which God exists and God is everything he goes on to say that if there are an infinite number of parallel universes there may be a universe in which God does not even exist or God is even more powerful okay uh oh, they're talking about the Mandela effect, you all. So, so let me see right here. Let me do this. Gina, what on earth did you just click out of? You all I clicked out of something. I clicked out of. I know what I clicked out of. I clicked out of a slider. I, I was going to look at the sliders. Um, sliders and. Wait, sliders and. Um, parallel worlds because um yeah there's him worlds yeah we're going to get to this um yeah here we go right here so i think i i clicked into this right here space dot oh yeah we already saw that space.com but there was like um people stepping sliders okay so parallel worlds 
Flatland, a romance sliders and blah, 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 blah. So we got this right here. So look at this. There was a, a parallel world which became connected due to experiments with quantum computers. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know the quantum computers were in that thing. So the same alternate world, the sliders, you saw that movie, the sliders, the group of kids or teenagers or young adults where they literally time traveled. They time traveled or, or went into the other world and they had only a certain amount of time to get back. You all remember seeing that? Um, it dealt with a group of most mostly unwilling travelers who ended up sliding between various parallel Earths in an attempt to find their way back to their own universe. Look. Plots included an earth in which the population is controlled. Oh, you did not hear that. And I did not hear that, you all. I did not hear that at all. You didn't hear it and I didn't hear it. We didn't hear it. We didn't hear it at all. But you know what? Look like this. When I come on here and I want to click into this where I want to see this right here where it says that. If I click into that, um, look, they removed it. I don't see it. It's not on here at all. They removed it. There's supposed to be a plot. There's no plot on here at all, you all. I think they took it all the way off. You think they did? I think they did. They got rid of the plot. That's all right. We don't need to, we don't need to read that. Um, it does, you all. Now, this was something else. This was something else I was going to talk about. So, people who have so much electricity in them, they can't wear the watches. Lights go off and all of that. So look at this. So this is what I, this is what I wanted to talk about to begin with. Signs that you are a person whose energy naturally interferes with electronics. Are you someone who that happens to? Um, are you? Yeah. Um, I don't know who it is. It wouldn't show up on the Wikipedia thing, uh, even though it was listed right under there. Um, yes, Christine Mott. Yes. So look at this. So everything is energy. Everything is energy. And there are people who have higher energy than others, whether they know it or not. These people are referred to as sliders. You may say, Gina, that's all make-believe. Is it make-believe? I've met people who cannot wear watches. I've met people whose mere energy and their emotions have literally shattered a glass table that they were sitting at. Literally shattered it uh, just by having their hand on it and their energy. Boom, shattered it all the way. Um, yeah, so this is, this is really possible. All of it's possible. Um, yes, we feel the energy. So they have the ability to affect electronics, causing it to spark or stop working. Um, those who are totally revved up can even cause damage to electrical appliances due to sparks of high voltage electricity. Um, yes, that's right. Um, you all, what was that about? What was, remember, um, Escape to Witch Mountain? What did those kids have the ability to do? I've never seen the movie. I always wanted to watch it, but my mother would not let me watch it. And I haven't watched it as of this day. Escape to Witch Mountain. I think those children had a special ability, did they not? Um, yes, you blow up light bulbs, Velvet Parker. Um... Yeah, let me put this back here. So, those who are totally revved up can cause damage to electrical appliances due to the sparks of high voltage electricity. And do you think you're one of them? If you are a true slider, this phenomenon makes you frustrated or annoyed at times. So, look at this, you all. You got, you, could you imagine if you could put a picture on your electric your electricity in your fingers and your body, that's what it literally would look like, just like that. Yeah, I watched that slow, I, I used to watch that show, Country Boy, about sliders. I thought it was pretty neat. 
You giving up with light bulbs and lamps? Oh, you got oil lamps. Diana. Wow. Um, yes, shatter glass. So look at that. So signs that you are a slider. Well, slider was the movie, but then they, they said these people got the electricity going in their body. You know, they got it going in their body. So um, you're a slider if you have the following experiences. You affect street lights. You can't wear watches since you easily drain its battery, causing it to stop working in a matter of days. Um, you affect other electrical appliances such as headlights and alternators in an automatic automotive vehicle, light bulb, and computer. You may cause a light bulb to blow up every time you touch a lamp or a, slight, a light switch. So I, I saw on here where somebody has only oil lamps now because of that ability to um, blow up a light bulb and stuff. Yeah. When you're near, computers may freeze up or experience other problems and CDs may change their tracks. Let's, let's make sure we're on this. Oh, bang, bang, mucka, bang. We're so happy that you're back. You're thinking, yeah, Gina, you just switched on really fast and then switched back off. No, I really am happy you're back. I really am. Uh, you may affect magnetic phenomena that makes credit cards unreadable after you've been carrying them. Oh, my gosh, you all. You may cause an irregular EKG and you may have a high degree of psychic ability. Well, I'm pretty sure that um, there is a lot of people in this uh, chat right now that have a lot of those symptoms that they carry uh, that describe them. I'm sure there are. Um, yeah, so that's exactly right. A lot of people, you all, have them those ability. The human magnetic field. Yes, that's right. Um, you love the magic in the U.S., yeah, there's a whole lot of you all. Uh, they look at you funny after the third time one night in the casino. Oh, wow. Uh, heartbeat. Yeah, so um, there's something about people like that. Uh, you, you may not really um, belong in this universe right here. You might belong in another parallel world, but sometime, somehow you got over into this world. Uh, it could be. You, yes, that's right. Put your hands together. And I, let's like Dragon Ball Z. You know how he goes. He, he forms a great big ball. He holds his hands together. And then once he forms it, once he be, is able to build up his power, he forms that great big ball of plasma probably. And then poof, out it goes. That's what happens. Out it goes. Dragon Ball Z. So we know that um, everything is energy. Everything in the universe is energy, even if some things appear solid. Everything has an entirely empty space with patterns of energy running through it. Spirit bomb, yeah. We have bodies that vibrate at a frequency of the Earth's electromagnetic field, and changes of these frequencies occur. Uh, unusual things happen. Okay, so, you know, so we have electricity. Let me, let me talk about this, you all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to say this. Yeah. So this is this is a little intimate. It's a little personal. But have you ever been kissing someone? And then, and then while you're kissing someone, you literally, you feel the electricity transfer from your mouth to their mouth. You literally feel the electricity as if you stuck your tongue on one of those square batteries. You know, you ever stuck your tongue on those square batteries to feel the electricity? You ever kiss somebody and you literally feel that electrical current transferring from your body to their body? Um, yeah. Come on now. That, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm serious, you all. I'm not the only one who's felt that. I cannot be. That's right. Hello. That thank you, Velvet Parker. <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you for being brave enough to say that. You all, it's true. <laughs> thank you, Angela. Yes, bang bang. Yes, King of Hookamundo. Yes, you was a party animal, but you had your electricity going. 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! You are yeah, um, yeah. That's literally when you're literally pouring out your essence. Your your essence literally is being transferred. That's why it's really careful. You really need to be careful who you're with. Uh, because we do transfer and receive energy. Okay, we do. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You got to make me blush. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you all. But that is really a transfer of energy. It is. <laughs> That's that's one example I can I can give you one example like that. <laughs> you all hit that hit that up button. So look, everything is energy. You all, we have bodies. <laughs> we got bodies that vibrate at a frequency as that of the Earth's electromagnetic field. So you become one with the Earth. Okay, your body can vibrate with that frequency of the Earth's electromagnetic field is what it can do. That's right. <laughs> it change if changes in this frequency occurs, unusual things do happen such as slider phenomena. So let's what is a slider phenomena right here? Um, a slider phenomena takes place when a slider goes through intense emotions such as anger, being upset or getting too excited. King of Hukamundo, I hope you were able to contain your excitement during your party. And uh, I'm sure you had a blast. And I'm sure you had a lot of electricity flowing through that body of yours during your party. And yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. These emotions then supercharge the bioenergy fields or the auras. Now, that's true because you can see a person's aura. The human nervous system is chemical and electrical in nature, having neurotransmitters that are electronic impulses. Wow, electronic impulses. Look at that. Chemical and electrical neurotransmitters. When triggered by strong emotions, the nervous system quickly lights up. That's right. It lights up. Um, not everyone is a slider uh, because not everyone encounters the factors that might have caused the person to become one. Look at this. The following events or accidents are said to have caused someone to have an, an unusually high energy. Uh, did we um, scare King Ahukamundo away? Um, I didn't mean to. I really didn't. But I really did. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious, you all. Yeah, he better not have ran away. He's, he's got to be a big boy and hang around and moderate this thing is what he's got to do. So look at this. So the following events or accidents are said to have caused some to have an unusually high energy um, let me let me fix my phone. It, it kind of messed up on me, you all. Got to re reboot. Gina, honey's got to reboot it. Is what I got to do. I got to do a be a do a reboot of my phone. To um, I got to see the comments, you all. Yeah, gonna stare right there. I scared King of Hookah Mendo. Oh no, Gina, honey, didn't scare him away. That's great. Yes, yeah, so we got you all back here. We have got you back here. That is all right. So we got this right here. So um, having a near-death experience, being struck by lightning, having suffered from a major electrical shock in the past, and or others have said of having a UFO or alien experience. So, so I really didn't know that these right here that you've seen on there those um experiences we can we can look at them the experience of having a near death will cause you to have high energy being struck by lightning having suffered from a major electrical shock in the past 
and or haven't had a UFO of alien experiences. Well, I think that um, I, I think 90% of the people on here right now have had one of those experiences, if not more than one, um, is what I think. Yeah. It's, it's your have bound to, you all. Yes. Let me, let me fix this right here. Y'all, I'm going to try to... I got this phone on this, like, thing that's sticking up, and that's okay. So let's look at this, you all. I just want to look at this a tad bit more. Lightning. Oh, wow. So look at this. Other theories. According to some theorists, people who have lived on other planets. So that's some of you all. In their previous lives will be born on Earth having different energy and abilities, including slider phenomenon. So look at this, you all. All of you who claim to have lived on another planet in your previous lifetimes will be born on Earth having different energy and abilities, including this slider phenomenon. Wow, that's really interesting. That is literally... This is literally the first time I've ever read anything like that that would even uh, give any leeway to acknowledging uh, living on another planet or in a previous life would uh, give you different energies and abilities on Earth. That is really interesting. However, if this electrical phenomena happens... Following a death of a loved one, it might indicate that the spirits are attempting to communicate with the bereaved loved ones. Wow. People who have psychic abilities are also said to be electric people. It's because having high energy means having a high vibration the foundation of a psychic development. So if you're psychic, you, you must have some type of electric, um, like you, well, we all have electricity in us, but then you have uh, uh, more ability to, I don't know, reach that high vibration, something like that. Psychics, can transmit as well as receive energy from other electrical systems due to their sensitivity to high energy environments and situations. So it's like if you're very intuitive and if you're psychic and um, you're around certain energy, okay, you can feel it and or you can give off certain energy. But uh, like I say, if you're around like in a negative energy, you can't see it. But you literally, you you are so in tune with the spiritual realm, with your with the that realm right there, that your energy and your body picks up in that uh, interdimensional realm that's literally right there. You pick it up and you can feel it. Some people, when they're around negative energy like that, a very negative dark force. Uh, even though they can't see it, they feel nauseous on the inside because it, it affects their energy field. Okay, it's literally, it's like you have a positive and a negative. Uh, that, like, it's literally, it's like makes you really sick to your stomach when you have it. I like that. A heightened awareness develops to a spiritual awakening when the person comes to the awareness of things beyond dense physical reality i like that word the awareness of things beyond the dense physical reality so it, it, this reality is not all there is it's not it's not all there is these are the subtle energetic realities that underline the physical moving into the higher levels of awareness leads to being electrically supercharged and sensitive. This is seen in the Kudalini experiences in which electrical phenomena is one of its symptoms. So yeah, I, I, we saw someone on here, maybe several people speak about the Kudalini experiences, uh, electrical phenomenon. Um etheric and interdimensional realms yeah 
So let's flip this back to here. I'm glad you're all being able to um, have conversations in here and share um, what you're thinking with one another because it's really important. Let's, let's get this going. What do you want to do about it since having electrical experiences is never comfortable? Who said it's not comfortable? I think it's comfortable. It's comfortable knowing that you have this ability within you. It really is. But then if you are a very empathic person, oh, it could literally like drain your energy. Your energy can kind of like get sucked out like that. It really can. Uh, a slider has to find some ground balance and live a life with lesser distractions. That's true. If, if you're really prone to... Um, energy fluctuations of of negativeness and positiveness really the, if the negative really you got to be really you better have a balanced life because this phenomena is triggered with high emotion finding inner peace through meditation and yoga is the best thing to do and i agree with that you got to have inner peace inner peace is what you really need as you evolve on an upward spiral, you should learn how to work with your high energy in a way that's not uncomfortable and uplifts other beings. I think that's what we do here. I really do. I think a lot of you, um, I think a lot of you um, use your energy in a way that's uplifting to other people. I, I think you do. A lot, there's a lot of high, um, high energy people here on this live stream and uh, watching this video a lot of people who are very intuitive and really do have a lot of high energy and they're able to give that energy in a, in a positive way instead of take it from other people you're able to share the energy that you have and other people need that energy as other people need the energy that you have Okay, you got to jump start. It's like hooking up a battery cable. It's like when somebody's hooking, just think of you as with a big battery. And uh, you got a good running battery and somebody else's battery in their car, if they had a car, uh, was dead. Well, they got to put the jumper cables on yours to just get them a jump start. See, that's what we do with our energy. We jump start other people who literally have none left. And that's all it takes is just a little bit of time uh, to get their energy back up. To where they can keep going which is really a good analogy right there it's like jump starting other people with your energy um all oh, right or honey what did i miss um just got my water working oh yeah Yes, hello everyone. Yeah, so I don't know if there was other things. Um, I'm going to close that one out. I've already read that one. I've already read this one. Um, there was this one right here, a quantum theory that claims consciousness moves to another universe after death. Consciousness moves to another universe after after death well that's really interesting because I, I think it really could move to another universe another life after death because it's not going to stay on this earth because this body is going to be done so yeah you're going to move to somewhere else after death um, beyond time and space um, Lanza is an expert in regenerative medicine and scientific director at the advanced cell technology company look Cloning endangered animal species, quantum mechanics and astrophysics, theory of biocentrism. Oh, wow! Multiple worlds, multiple worlds, multiverse. Um, the universe divides into countless similar instances. So, you all can see that right there. So, quanta. Um, there is an abundance of other places in the universe where our soul could migrate after death, according to a theory of neobicentrism. But does the soul exist? Um, the professor has no doubts about the existence of an eternal soul. He believes that consciousness does not perish after death. 
According to Hammerath, the human brain is the perfect quantum computer, and the soul or consciousness is simply information stored at that quantum level. And it can be transferred following the death of the body. Quantum information carried by consciousness merges with our universe and exists infinitely. In his turn, he claims that the soul will migrate to another universe. That is the main difference in his theory uh, than other people. So um, that's really interesting, you all. It really is. So they think that that could happen, you all. And then we have this, was our universe destroyed? Um, let me put this on here right like this. Let me... Um, Turn myself out of here, you all. We got to turn myself out of here. Is, um, ooh, Gina, honey, you're going to cause this to go down. Yeah. <coughs> Karma points stay with the higher self. Energy is never created nor destroyed. Um, yeah. Well, I am going to go, you all. I've, I've hit another hour on this video, and I didn't mean to do big, long videos. But that's all right, you all. We can uh, do big, long videos. It's got a, a good um, live chat here. That's wonderful. we got a good live chat, lots of people in it. Uh, so that's absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah. So uh, I am going to go, you all, I don't want it to, I don't want this video to be really long, but um, please give this video a thumbs up, you all, and hit that subscribe button, uh, because, you know, sometimes you say, well, I don't get your notifications and stuff. Well, I read that if you unsubscribe, then resubscribe, and then hit the subscriber, the notification bell, sometimes you'll, it, it works, and um, you get a notification and stuff. But besides all that, you all, we are, um, I think that's really interesting, parallel worlds and multiverses and uh, many versions of us existing and all of that. It's really fascinating. And um, now we know that there are scientists who do think on the same line also. And that you really can no longer hide um, the reality that there's more to this life than what meets the eye. Okay, and this ain't the only life. There really, I really, it's not the only life. The spirit in my body's leaving. When this body's done, the spirit's leaving. Um, yeah, maybe my body will go at the same time as my spirit. We we never know, but it, it's not gonna. My spirit's not gonna die. It's not. Um, so with that being said, thank you all for taking time out of here to come on here, and thank you moderators for everything you do. And I hope nobody got embarrassed on here. I really hope they didn't. Uh, but that's okay, you all. It is. Um, so with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all once again. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting topic. And it's good to research things like that. You can do your own researches too uh, if you're so inclined within your spirit to do so. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.